Hey, in this video, I want to show you how to set up a live loop cutting uh, in the session view and then also using the simpler. Uh, this is a great way to exercise and get familiar with the follow actions as well as having some fun with uh, some loops. Um, so first of all, I chose a full song here, although I do want to mention, I'll mention this again at the end, uh, this can be also with drum loops, with vocal loops, bass, any type of loop, doesn't have to be a full song. So first of all, I'm going to drag this song to the session. Uh, and I'm going to also uh, decide which section of the song I want to cut uh, to do the live loop cutting. So I'm going to take just the drop. I see it's right here. Uh, you do need to warp the song, very importantly. I'm not going to go over it right now, but the song needs to be warped. So I'm going to bring the loop bracket, hold command, bring the loop bracket, command shift, bring the end. I'm going to turn on looping, and this is what we have. <laughs> Nice. Now this might not work with things that are very repetitive like techno and some styles of house and so on. Uh, so you want something with a core progression, a lot of things you can jump around. Um, nice. Now what we're going to do is we're going to slice it to different clips. So instead of duplicating and setting up the loop bracket, uh, there's a, a way to do it with the follow action. I'm going to click on the clip, go down here to the launch box, open it up. I'm going to set the follow action to how long I want each slice to be. So in my case it's two bits. So two beats, every two beats play again. We're going to make sure we turn on legato mode, so it's going to remember the last playhead position. And now if I record it to the arrangement, let's say click the global record, launch the clip. Nice, so it's automatically sliced it to the arrangement. Let's uh, select the last slice and delete going to select all the clips by clicking on the last or all first, holding shift, and then clicking on the first or last, uh, clicking and holding, holding the clips, hitting the tab key, and dropping them in uh, the session. Let's give it a one empty clip slot difference here. Nice. Uh, now I'm going to select all the clips again, and let me just select individually. If you see the start marker of each one is set according to the slice, according to the time. Let's select all the slices. We have eight slices here. Let's see, actually rename them even. Oh. Okay, select all the clips. Go down here. Uh, it's already set up for us. Let's just say, change the follow action to next and turn off legato. And that's it. Now if we launch the first clip, it should play the entire loop at its original form. <laughs> Nice. Now that we have all these clips separated, I can go to MIDI mapping mode. Let me bring up my keyboard. Click on one of the clips. Hit a note. And just map them to different notes. And what we're doing here is basically setting up very close cue points, close to each other, so we can then jump and recut the loop and make something new out of it live. Excellent. Uh, let me turn off MIDI mapping mode. Now, global quantization is set to one bar, so I can't really launch things uh, shorter than one bar. So let's change that to something like eighth note. You can completely turn it off if you don't want any quantization. Uh, but for me, let's go with like eight. So now I can launch it from any point in time of the loop. It will just play the clip, the loop. And then at any point, I can start rearranging the loop by jumping to different location. And you get the point. Nice. Um, so you can do that with clips, and it doesn't have to be a full song. It can even be multiple tracks with like a drum loop here, a bass loop, and uh, a vocal loop, and then you can map everything and do live loop cutting to all of those uh, together. If you have a grid controller, uh, it might even be much more visual because it will uh, show you which clips are playing at uh, any moment. Let's go down here with shift. Nice. As you can see, I only have five, so I won't see all of them. But if I launch the first one, we can see it uh, going down. <laughs> Nice. Uh, excellent. 
So this is for this technique. And lastly, we can also do it in the simpler. Let's open up a new MIDI track. I'm going to drag this full clip down here. Drag it down here. Nice, we got it sampled. Uh, what we can do here is we can go to slice mode. In slice mode, let's do every beat, half. Nice, right, just like we sliced our original clip. But playback, I'm going to set to through. So once playback is on through, uh, it's giving my, me the same result. In this case, we don't have quantization because it's inside the simpler, it's just MIDI. Oh, and I do need to turn off the MIDI mapping. Nice, let's go back here. Stop this clip. Go down an octave. Nice, and if you let it go, it's going to um, play to the end of the clip, but it is not looping, so it's another advantage to use the clips over that. If you do want to quantize, uh, you can check out a different student question video where I show you how to build a real-time MIDI quantizer using the arpeggiator, and you can set the rate to whichever value you want to quantize to. So even, if I hit, even if I hit it really fast, it's still uh, quantized. Um, so this is how you do live loop cutting uh, with the follow actions in the session or using uh, the new layout of the simpler with the new slicing mode. Uh, with through playback. Okay, I uh, hope this helps. Catch you next time.